Hello and welcome to another Froten Academy video. This video will provide an overview of the glucose tolerance test, highlight the conditions for which it's requested, and describe the procedures involved to perform the test. Glucose tolerance test, also known as oral glucose tolerance test, is a procedure used to assess the body's response to exogenous glucose. This test is usually performed to diagnose diabetes mellitus, gestational diabetes, as well as to assess insulin resistance, impaired pancreatic beta cell function, and reactive hypoglycemia. In addition, glucose tolerance tests may also be used in the diagnostic workup of other conditions, such as dumping syndrome, polycystic ovary syndrome, acromegaly, and rare disorders of carbohydrate metabolism. There are many variations of glucose tolerance test depending on the intended purpose with differences in the dosage of glucose load, administration route, sampling intervals, and measurements of other analytes in addition to glucose. The test should be performed in the morning between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. after an overnight fast and three days of unrestricted diet and activity. Please note that water is allowed during the fasting period. Medications known to affect glucose metabolism should be discontinued, if possible, prior to the test, and patients should not smoke cigarettes during the procedure. The procedure for the standard glucose tolerance test that's commonly used for the diagnosis of diabetes involves collection of a fasting baseline venous blood sample, followed by the ingestion of a standard drink that contains 75 grams of glucose, with blood samples then collected after 1 hour and 2 hours post-glucose ingestion. Please note that some doctors may require the collection of an additional sample 3 hours post-glucose ingestion, in which case the glucose load is 100 grams. The required sample tube is fluoride oxalate, as the glucose cutoff values are based on this specimen type. For further details on this, please watch my video on glucose, where I explain the homeostasis, metabolism, clinical indications, pre-analytical requirements, and the principles of analytical methods used to measure glucose. The link is in the description below. The recommended glucose load is 75 grams for adults, and 1.75 grams of glucose per kilograms of weight dissolved in 250 to 300 ml of water in children. Once the samples are collected, they are transported appropriately to the laboratory where the specimens are centrifuged and the plasma samples are then used to measure glucose. The results are compared to the cutoff values and interpreted according to the established guidelines. For acromegaly, the requirements prior to oral glucose tolerance test is similar and include unrestricted diets and activity three days before the test, an overnight fast with water allowed, discontinuation of medications before the test, and no smoking during the procedure. The test should be performed between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. and the procedure involves collection of a fasting baseline serum sample for growth hormone and insulin-like growth factor 1 or IGF-1 together with venous plasma sample for glucose. This is followed by the ingestion of a glucose drink with 75 grams of glucose load and serial blood collections at 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes and 120 minutes interval post-glucose ingestion. All the blood samples are transported appropriately to the laboratory where they are centrifuged to separate serum and plasma specimen from the whole blood. The serum samples are used to measure growth hormone and IGF-1 and the plasma specimen are used to measure glucose. Under normal circumstances, glucose ingestion should suppress growth hormone secretion, but in acromegaly, this suppression may be compromised. The results are then compared to the established cutoff values and interpreted according to the guidelines. Glucose tolerance tests should not be performed on hospitalized, acutely ill or inactive patients, patients suffering from an intercurrent infection or the effects of trauma and those recovering from a severe illness. Drugs such as corticosteroids and diuretics should be stopped prior to the test if possible as they may impair glucose tolerance and therefore affect the results. That's it for this video and thank you for watching. As always, if you've gained any value, consider subscribing to the channel, share and like the video and comment for constructive discussion.